this is Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I want to show you a cute little book and I also want to show you the packaging. I usually get my books in just a plain cardboard box or something like this so I just wanted to show you this because it was so pretty. Uh, it's got came in a nice little envelope and it's got a nice little stamp over there on the corner and a little paper tag on it and hand decorated here with like a little paper doily and cute little ribbons so I just thought that was super cute and so pretty um, I really love packaging except for the brown paper variety it's never overly interesting and I always love it when you get these little special touches from artists it's it just really speaks to the whole handmade quality of the work to me and so it was a really nice surprise this was all within a inner package so it wasn't um, ruined in the actual posting process so there's the packaging for it so lovely little cute quality and you can tell that it's just going to be a cute little handmade type book that I'm going to show you based on the packaging so here's the cute little book and it's got a bunny rabbit on the cover which if you know me you know I really love bunny rabbits so as soon as I've seen the bunny rabbit cover cover I had to have it now this artist is from Israel and this is the first colouring book that I've got that when I opened up the book I was kind of confused as to how to use it. So you guys will probably catch on earlier than what I did. It's got a lovely inside lime green cover. Now by the way I emailed the artist and I asked her what the name of this colouring book was and she told me it was called Colouring Book. So. Hopefully at some stage it will change and uh, there will be an actual name for this colouring book. In the meantime, I'll just link to it below and I've included the artist's name uh, as the title. So do you see it? The images are on the left. So this is the first colouring book that I have where the illustrations are on the left hand side of the paper. So it was kind of confusing for me because I didn't know whether I had it upside down or not. Now the paper quality is very good. It's a really thick medium weight. It's not a heavy weight but it's a medium weight. Lovely crisp white and you can see these delicate line drawings. They're very whimsical and very cute. There's some really cute illustrations in here. Just have a look at this cute little whimsical house. And I love these whimsical style drawings. Now you probably see on the side here, there's a little dotted line. Now that's not a perforation mark. It's just a mark where you can cut out with scissors. So there's a little scissor icon down there. But it's not perforated, it's just a guide mark so that you can cut out the images. I love these quirky little drawings in here. It's just very whimsical and very cute. The only uh, regret that I have about this book is that the artist also had some little note cards for sale. And I wish I'd bought those as well. So we can see extremely cute little whimsical images with lots of little curves and whatnot. And this gorgeous cat over here having a sleep on the cushions. And more bunny rabbit. And here's our cover bunny rabbit.
and that covers the lime green as well. We've got this cute little partially coloured image on the back. And there we have it, colouring book. It's by Yonat Kutsur from Paper Dreams. Now, it's only a small book, which is approximately 21 centimetres or eight and a quarter inches by 15 centimetres or five and three quarters inches. So it's only a small little book comes beautifully packaged all the way from Israel. I hope you enjoyed this colouring book review. Until next time, happy colouring.